Facebook Live, what's happening? Lewis Realty here. Uh, we got the Bearded Brethren. Uh, that's kind of what we're calling ourselves. Uh, I'm Zach, and uh, we're going to jump in right here. Hey guys, Chris from Lewis Realty. I'm going to give you guys a tour today of a uh, real shrimp catching boat. Uh, before uh, getting into real estate, down to Lewis Realty, I actually grew up on shrimp boats. Uh, my dad's shrimp boat here. Uh, he was good enough to let us come on and do a go live. Unfortunately, he couldn't be here, so you're stuck with a uh, part-time shrimp boat captain today. But I'll uh, try to give you some good details on how things work and uh, what it takes to get those fresh shrimp to your uh, table when you come down here to Thompson. All right, but uh, let's see here. Let me flip this camera around. There he is over there. We got Bobby with Cloud Media. Uh, if you guys don't follow them on Facebook or like them, go check them out. Uh, they do a daily uh, aerial uh, picture and they're going to start doing weekly aerial videos. Um, I don't know how he gets up there and gets those shots like he does. Um, he must have a really... Very carefully. Very carefully, he says. <laughs> he must have a wicked zoom. Uh, but we're going to flip you all around one more time. Um, and we're going to check out this boat here. There we go, we're gonna let Chris tell us a little bit about this shrimping boat. All right guys, where we're at, we're at Swamp Point Marine and Steve's Ferry. If you guys can see with the camera in the distance, you'll see a dredge boat, U.S. Corps, uh, Corps of Engineers. Uh, they're dredging New York Inland. This is kind of in relation to uh, the north end of Thompson over on the mainland. Come out to the dock and step on the boat. Well, way up there you got the uh, north end of the gate here. Way up there's the northern end of the north topsail. So let you know guys, about roughly where we're at. You guys watch your step. Yeah, we got a rope here. Don't trim fall. Chris said this boat's named Sharon Ann, but for the day we're going to name it Jenny. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a Sharon Ann. It's owned by Thomas Rackley. Uh, actually my father. Uh, it's named after his wife Sharon. Uh, it was actually built uh, about 50 years ago, so it's an old shrimp boat. But, uh, she's wood. She's in great shape. And, uh, Zach's gonna step on and get your run down how shrimp boat works. Right, open over. Oh, there we go. Alright, where we're at here, we're on the stern of the boat on the deck. Uh, this is where uh, the, the crew members usually work. Uh, this here is a winch. Uh, you run it by these levers and foot pedals. All this here, and if you see these cables, they go up to what we call the outriggers. And I'll explain a little bit more about the outriggers here in just a minute. nets. This one pulls two nets. Uh, I believe they're somewhere around 40, 50 foot nets. Uh, they're made out of a uh, twine type web and nylon I believe it is. These here are doors and what does a door do? A door opens. Uh, so these big huge doors here with uh, metal sleds on the bottom and metal throughout catch the uh, water and spread the net open so that it'll gather the shrimp up. Uh, without that the net would just collapse in on itself and you wouldn't be able to catch anything. Uh, if you guys can see up here where we've got that uh, orange webbing, that's called chafing gear. That's over what we call the tail bag. The tail bag's where all the seafood funnels down to, and when we're hauling back, that's when we pull the nets back in. You pull that rope there on that tail bag, and it dumps out into this culling board. And then the crew member, the deckhands, they do what we call culling. And culling is just that. You're culling to the market, which ends up on y'all's tables when you rent from Lewis Realty. Um, you see a metal frame in there? That's called a TED. It stands for Turtle Excluding Device. Um, as I said, I grew up on, on shrimp boats, and you know, really, uh, it's very rare that you catch a sea turtle, uh, but the state regulations say that shrimpers have to pull these TEDs. What that TED does is in the event that you do catch a sea turtle, it shoots him out. There's also a uh, FED, a fed that's in that net, which is a wire mesh uh, cage with a hole in the net that uh, shoots out juvenile fish uh, so that it can go on and live a good prosperous life. Um, inside this culling box is uh, the uh, ice hole, and that's with an I, not with an A, it's an ice hole. And uh, that's where you pack the ice and the shrimp at. Uh, years ago, down here, this was the ice hole. And you probably won't be able to see in there because it's uh, kind of dark, but down in there you'll have some compartments. Uh, right now it's just used for storage. Um, but in the old days you would have boxes of ice in there. You'd pack your shrimp out in boxes and you'd, you'd slide it down in there in those compartments and neatly tuck it away while you're on your trip. Um, over here, this is called a pin rail. As you can see it holds ropes that go to the various things in the rigging. We talked a bit about the winch. Uh, we're going to go uh, down into the engine room next and see the power plant for the shrimp boat. 
and uh, take a little tour there, and then we'll go up into the wheelhouse and uh, look and see where all the business happens, where the uh, captain's making his decisions on where to go. So if you guys will carefully follow. Chris, we got 16 people watching with us. Good deal. Je uh, let's see. Helen says uh, she's loving your Sneeds Ferry sneakers. Uh, <laughs> you want to enlighten everybody while we're yeah, you show them your Sneeds Ferry sneakers. These are the famous Sneeds Ferry sneakers. They're worn by uh, commercial fishermen here in Sneeds Ferry. They're rubber boots. They're white. And um, you probably saw some t-shirts around that had Sneeds Ferry sneakers. That's them. We've got our own uh, Sneeds Ferry sneakers. Fancy. Oh, and Jesse said nice hat. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to ease down this. Hopefully you're sitting down and not getting uh, that drunk sick feeling. As you can see. All right, down here, this is uh, what we call the engine room. Uh, this is a diesel engine. You can see it here. Uh, I don't know what size it is or what kind it is, but it's what uh, propels the boat, gives us its towing power. Um, when Zach gets back over here, you'll notice two tanks on each side. One, of course, is fuel, diesel. Uh, it does have fresh water on this boat, so one's a fresh water tank. We'll talk a bit more about that when we go back topside. Uh, coming on up this way. Watch your heads. If you're over about five foot, you're gonna knock, you're gonna whack your melon. Give them a shot of the batteries. This here's the battery bank. Uh, it's what runs a lot of the electrical systems. This boat's got a 12 volt, 24 volt, and 32 volt system, so they've got it covered on uh, different voltages for different marine electronics. All right, question. It's just an ignorant question. Can you jump off a boat? You can, but you can. Uh, but I won't today. It's cold in the water. <laughs> This is a uh, generator, uh, kind of like you would have at your home. Um, this uh, turns gas power into electrical power for 120 volt appliances, which we'll see some upstairs when we go upstairs. This here is just kind of a little tool room, different things that's needed when you're out. Uh, this boat goes out for a week at a time. Uh, my dad sometimes doesn't come home for a month. He'll come in, pack out the shrimp, and uh, head right back out. So uh, he's got to have everything here on hand that he needs to keep the boat running. All right, I guess we're going back topside. I figured y'all didn't want to look at Chris's butt, so we'll let y'all look at something else. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right, where we're at now, we're on the bow of the boat. If y'all remember the Titanic, King of the World, so we're King of the World here at Seeds Ferry now. Of course, you got the anchor shooting the anchor. We all know what anchors do. This one's a fairly large anchor. Most of the time, you pull it up by the winch, but some of the, some guys will pull it up by hand. I wouldn't be doing that. I'd use the winch in the back to do that. A little fog bell. That's, you can hear that. It's even got a light bar. For all you off-road fanatics. There's the drone. Well, it's somewhere up there. You can get in the so coming into the cabin. This boat's about 55 foot. Uh, there are larger ones. You know, some of the boats are 100 foot. Uh, some are as small as 20 foot. But this one's about a mid-size, around 50, 55 feet. Uh, it does have a cabin. You'll notice Zach will show you here in a minute the bunk room. And that's where the captain and his uh, crew members sleep. And if you come this way, you'll see the uh, luxurious bath. you got a marine uh, toilet. And on this back side over here, which you may not be able to see, you actually have a hot and cold running shower so that uh, you can keep clean after all that shrimp catching. Well, I left the toilet seat down, so that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Our pet peeve. Over here is the uh, galley area, it's where of course you eat, and uh, got a gas stove for cooking meals, hot and cold uh, sink, got your uh, cabinets just like home. Here's the entertainment system, uh, JVC flat panel DVD player, so uh, when you've anchored up you've got something to watch. And coming up here, this is where the captain sits. Get a little more head clearance. All right, and um, of course this is a plotter, uh, radars, communication radio devices. You can see they've got uh, about four of those. 
steering wheel. The boat has autopilot, so the captain can set it on um, autopilot and it'll steer a course. Uh, I believe that's what this lever here does once he gets his course set. You can see his, his uh, throttles here for forward and reverse and uh, RPMs on the engine. An old timey compass, and uh, you can see a little small screen there where the uh, captain monitors what's happening on the deck as well as down in the engine room, make sure everything's going good. And now we're going to step onto the back and uh, we're going to give you a really cool vantage point of uh, a shrimp boat so you can see the whole layout. So uh, just bear with us, that'll take just a second. Go ahead and ask some, ask some uh, questions while we're uh, walking back there and we'll get them answered for you. All right. If you guys have any questions, like Chris said, now's the time to type them in, and we'll get to them. Uh, Helen asks, where's the captain? Captain is uh, tied up at the moment. All right, there you go, Helen. The captain's tied up. Uh, Erica, glad we made Wyatt's day. Checking out the boat. Film that dredge boat. Oh, we're going to Chris and show you guys the dredge boat guys go and if you guys remember uh semi-popular movie so uh this is kind of like what Forrest Gump hung out with uh, he was a shrimp and boat captain and uh, Lieutenant Dan was his first mate but he didn't call him captain all right uh, you guys are gonna get to see what it looks like from the top of the map Sit down, because you're going to get that drunk feeling. Dropped your phone. Well, that ain't good. Hold on just a second, y'all. Alright, take her up. All right, folks, uh, sorry about that. We had technical difficulties. Um, don't really know what happened, but uh, on the way up, it just kind of hit pause, and we can't unpause it. So I went live on my phone, uh, but I'm going to give you all back to Chris and uh, let him take you back up. Don't drop her. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm going to go back up the rigging. Sorry about that little difficulty. I uh, can't get it unpaused from up here up top. And as you can see, what I'm climbing is a small mast. Top. I'm going to switch it to a front view and give you a little tour from uh, up top here. All right, here's where we're at. There's the top of the mast. You can see the outriggers. And don't look down. Here's where we are here. Over here is the stern. You can see down on the deck and everything is down there with the nets. This part here is called the boom. We're probably about uh, 40, 45 feet in the air. From a perspective, you can see Zach down there. And right over there, you'll see our friendly drain, that little dot. And this way, here's the top of the cabin. Life raft, uh, in case something goes wrong. And finally, the bow of the boat. And there's the dredge boat. And we'll give you guys a little small 360 video, and then we'll be signing out. Stay tuned next week. We'll be back with another adventure with the two bearded brethren. Lewis Realty Associates, Sales and Rentals, Surf City, North Carolina. Thank you.